Alright, so uh, a co-worker of mine uh, recommended me this barber not too far from work. So, you know, I ended up going to him. Um, you know, <clears throat> I knew where he worked. You know, I knew people that he knew. So my, my co-worker from work, he said, oh, just go check him out. You know, he just opened a barber shop. And I was like, okay, you know. You know, I got there, you know. Uh, he was uh, cutting somebody's hair, and then somebody was waiting for him. So, you know, I was like, ah, oh, let me, you know, just wait. So, I was waiting patiently, you know, and I, and I was talking to him, telling him that, you know, I was sent through a co-worker, that he worked with one of his cousins, you know, and he was like clueless, he was like, nah, he, I, he didn't know who I was talking about, so, so I was like, okay, so, um, <clears throat> I ended up uh, waiting, you know, I waited like about an hour, so, you know, I waited there patiently, you know, and, um, you know, so it was my turn, so I told him what I want, I said, no fade, you know, skin, you know, so he started cutting, you know, and uh, he ended up going a little higher, you know, what I liked, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but you know, I want a little lower fade, you know, like, as you can see, you know, and um, he went high, and when I realized, I was like, man, you changed my hair, hair cut, man, I, I didn't want it that high, he was like, oh, I didn't think, you know, I think this haircut looked better on you than, you know, you looked at the type, you know, that will wear hair, you know. Yeah, that's fine, that's his opinion, but, you know, I want it a certain way, you know. You know, because, I'm not saying it's bad, but, you know, this, this to maintain it like this, you have to, you know, keep up with it, you know, because once it starts growing, you know, it starts sticking out a little, but anyway. So, so he went high, and then I was like, man, and uh, I thought he was, I told him at the beginning, I said, just haircut, you know, I'm gonna keep the beard. I said, I'm gonna keep the beard. But I thought when he was cleaning up, you know, around my ear, he was just making a line right here. So he ended up making a line, then he started cutting to my beard. And I was like, no, 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 that's all right, just, you know. And he was like, oh, you know, that he charged extra for the beard. And I was like, no, no, just a haircut. And said, see, you already started cutting. And I was like, all right. All right. Then realizing, you know, he was charging extra, you know. So, you know, he cut the beard, you know. He had me laid back. He used a straight right here, cut right here. I mean, you can see it right now. It's nice and straight. Pretty much, he, he cut it just like this. Actually, don't wear it like this, but, you know, he cut it like that. I just went back home and cleaned it up a little, you know, down here, as you can see, nice, you know, because I like my uh, my beard a certain way. So, let me get a little closer here, so, and, um, you know, he cut away, you know, and uh, I let him, then, uh, while he had me laid back in the chair like this, you know, he started cutting into my uh, eyebrows with the clippers. I was like, oh, whoa, what's, and I said, he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just, I don't know, he just went just, you know, slightly over. I was like, man, don't give me no arch your eyebrows, man. You know, I ain't Puerto Rican, Nick. And um, he cut into my eyebrows. I was like, this guy does it all, man. And, uh, well, once he was finished, I said, so uh, you take a uh, charge? I'm a charger. He said, yeah. So uh, he said, there's a $3 charge. I said, $3 charge? He said, yes, sir. And I was like, man, this guy, man. So he had me, the haircut was 20, you know. It's not about the money. Money, whatever, you know. I let him have it. But it's the principle of it, you know. First, the haircut was 20. Then, cutting into my beard was another five. Then when I tried to pay with my charge, charge it, because I didn't have enough cash, he was charging me $3 fee. Come on now, where he, where, where does he make up $3 fee? You know, I had to pay for the haircut, so you know. And it doesn't stop there. And I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera. If you could see, right around the hairline, he went a little higher than I, I liked. And you see that red mark right there? That's with the clippers. Now, my skin is a little sensitive, but not that sensitive where it made a red mark right across here. Now, I'm not gonna turn around my back, but I think you can see right here 
my skin started irritating a little. I mean, I went back home and cleaned it up, but like in my back of my neck, you can see it much more. You use this, um, I don't want to say, it's like a clipper, but it's kind of square. I think the, the guys that cut their hair, they at the barbershop, they know what I'm talking about. It's like square. It looks like a, a razor for your beard, but he used it back here, and it cuts pretty close. But he used it all in, and it irritated my neck. Like all back here right now, it's all like, you know, red, you know. And um, I was talking to my girl, telling her what happened, and she said, well, most likely, you know, his, his you know, blades, his, his, you know, his clippers, you know, they were dirty, you know. Sometimes, you know, that's what happens when, you know, I was like, man, so I'm walking around with this line across my head, you know, looking funny. Then I got all these red marks in the back of my neck. But, you know, it's just an experience that, you know, I, I didn't expect to have, you know. I try with these barbers, you know, I try, you know. I mean, the beard doesn't look bad. I mean, he gave me a little, nice little style right here. I just don't like it real thin that, like that, you know. And this is okay here. I cleaned it up a little. I touched it up myself, you know, so it looks a little bit more crisp. Yeah, but <sighs> unbelievable, you know. I always try to find a barber, you know. I've been going barber, barber, barber. You know, I have my barber in Wheaton. He's great. I've been with him for years, but you know, he was too far for me, you know get out there and I had to take an appointment then I had another barber close by down where I live not too far but you know his fades were all that great so you know I was like trying to find and through time I also you know tried different people you know but just because you're a barber that doesn't mean you know how to cut and even even so even if you have the experience that doesn't mean you know you know how to cut also because you know I mean, we, we're talking about this. The guy that got my hair, he was like, oh, I got 25 years, 20 years. I mean, I think the first rule as a barber, listen to your client. It's what he wants, not what you want, you know? You, you could suggest something, but you're not giving the haircut you want. It's what he wants, you know? I think that's rule number one. Somewhere right here around here. So, I mean, again, you know, the haircut's not that bad, but you know, that fade is a little high up, you know. And he, I think he did okay with the fade. The fade's not that bad, you know. I, I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back, but you know, I think you get an idea how it looks, you know. But again, it's maintenance, you know. Once it starts growing out, you know, you gotta go touch it up, you know. Sometimes I like getting a haircut that, you know, it lasts a little longer, you know. Oh, I could sit on it for like, you know, two or three weeks, you know, but, um, you know, but yeah, man, so I ended up paying, let me see, I paid 20 for the haircut, I was charged another five for the beard, then a three dollar fee, then the tip, it came out like 33 dollars, you know, so, and it's not about the money, you know. I care less about the money. I just wanted someone to listen to me how I like my haircut done, you know. Don't don't try to give me extra stuff. I, I don't want no extra stuff. I could do my own beard. I don't want my eyebrows touched up, none of that, you know. Listen to what I want, my haircut, a certain way. That's it, you know. And making sure, you know, you're... you're your tools or whatever you're working with nice and clean, you know. I wouldn't be walking around with this red mark across my head, you know, looking all funny. But I made it work though, you know. So, well, yeah, that's my blog, you know. That's my rant. What they call it, rant. That's my rant. So, so, word of advice. Don't always go with recommendations, you know. I mean, you give people chances, but you know, you know, just be sure, just be sure where you go, you know, so, alright guys, out.